It's the festival of the traveler, and all Stormreach is hunting for hidden surprises. And hello everyone. Welcome to Twitch Tuesday on DDO's stream. There we go. Looks like everything's in place now. This is Simorgu hosting. Hope everyone's doing well this evening. Hello, Ascender. Hope you're doing well tonight. Let's see. The air in the illusion is different than outside. With the Mark's enchantment shattered, the illusions around you disappear. So I did party crashes here the other day, and uh, Cyan never appeared. So it just so happens when I logged on, I was standing right outside this, and figured I'd go ahead and run it since I'm already here. As if you were teleported leagues away, rather than just a few feet. I personally haven't been playing much outside of my Thursday static group. And the uh, stream here on Tuesdays. These arches have signal crystals attached on top. Are they simply decorative? With House Fiarlan, one hand. Though you can see the rest of Stormreach through the skylights above, the light from outside does not reach this room. The only illumination comes from phosphorescent mushrooms. Still just trying to grind out the epics for uh, Shaw here. This life and two more and I'll have the first 12 epic pass lives. Which should unlock me another fates twist slot. Hopefully I can do that before the next well, before level 30 hits, let's put it that way. Maybe may not be the next release, but hopefully before 30 hits. I'd like to have that done. The illusionary ones have disappeared, as well as the barrier into the next chamber. Unlike the previous room, this place feels like it's a And I may change what I do after that with this character. We'll see. In order to get at the I have vague plans of running some other characters, getting them some past lives and such. Eh. For now, this is still the easiest character I have to play. Not very group dependent, easy to solo stuff. Making the grind a little easier. The marks of shadow around this chamber are restoring the illusionary giant's health. <sighs> Yes, try and come knock me down, like I know you're going to. Oh, 
There you go. But you still need to enter the and stop the Maleficent Cabal's attack. I've actually been doing a lot of reading. I've been really reading the um, old Lankmar series that I don't believe I actually ever actually read before. That was one of the ones that Ed Greenwood was talking about in his interviews. So I took that as a recommendation to read. I'm enjoying them so far. The ballroom is on the far side of the chapter house, and it seems rather unlikely. Next to the security gates, a large dragon mark of shadow is embedded into the wall. If it were to activate, you would not be able to destroy it as you did with the marks in the Illusionarium. The Chapter House Theatre normally hosts stage plays for Fialan's elite patrons. It looks like its shows are on hold during the Grand Gala. Other than that, just the usual job hunting, take care of the animals, sorts of things. Nothing really exciting. Had a couple interviews, so hopefully things are progressing. I'll get something locked down here shortly. Can relax on the money front. The illusions we shall see. Hall don't appear to be interactive like the ones in the Illusionarium. They probably won't attack you. A month of honest, so anybody feels like joining, grouping up, and any of that. You finally Let's hope Cyan actually does her thing this time. Now, to find the guest list. And add cyan's I really don't know why she doesn't sometimes. I tend to do the same route every time. Here seems like a harmless old elf, but that facade does not fool you. You easily see through. So not sure what could be causing the issue, if it's something I'm doing or not. You see those things once in a while, though. Normally it's something easily ignored, like the guy running away from you in uh, Overgrowth gets stuck or something like that. But this can be annoying. Hey, Mist, how's it going? Because it actually prevents you from progressing the crust, so it's a little more annoying. Ah, there she is. Good. Looks like it's working this time. Welcome, Mist. Hope you're doing well this evening. Do your blazingly fast TR runs and such. Uh, now we get to wait for her to walk again. Yeah. She is very slow. But as has been pointed out, she's a Contessa royalty as such, and uh, this is a party to be seen and act in your usual manner, so there you go. Hey, Mortal Effects, how's it going? 
I'm just grinding out epic pass lives basically at the moment. Waiting for Cyan, who walks so slowly. There she goes. Open the doors. Yep, I think that's the point of it. It's not any less annoying, but at least there's a compelling in-character reason for it to be happening that way. So, as far as that goes, I don't mind too much. Oh, I got a new mouse for the other laptop, too, for the SO to use on Guild Knights. It's the Logitech G600. So, yeah, haste and such should work on her, but it really does on those mobs for some reason. Several places in the game where you want to hurry somebody up, haste and stuff doesn't work. Alright, let's see how bad my will save is this time. If we can get these guys in time. There we go. Much better. And the last caster is that. There we go. All casters down. Now there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Seven-ish K, not bad. Papa bomb. Um, so yeah, back to the mouse. Uh, I've played with it a little bit. I haven't actually played DDO with it yet, but. Uh, Seems like a suitable replacement for the Razor Naga that was uh, having a double click problem. Do I want to do. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do Snitch while I'm here. Since it's right next door. The sounds and smells of the busy tavern drift in from the next room. Perhaps Roderick Nettle won't cause a scene if you ask him a few discreet questions in a public place. The stench of smoke wafts down the corridor. So yes, I see there's plenty of lurkers, which is perfectly fine if you don't feel like saying anything or you're playing your own game while listening in, that's cool. But if you do want to interact, I am watching chat. like to have interactivity. It's part of the fun of streaming, really, is the interactivity. I see must have been doing black lock because all my post effects are such. No. I really just use the mouse so I can hit my abilities without having to move either hand. Just my right thumb. I don't do macros, it's just for 
Oh, hotkeys mostly. For shot, it's pretty simple. The up at the top left bar is where most of my abilities for Sha are. With a couple on the second bar there. And I get those first 12 just with my right thumb. Now when I get over to VAR, my caster, it's a little bit different. I've got 24 spells I can access using modifier. That's one big difference between the G600 and the Naga is that there is a third button on that mouse where your third finger would normally rest. There's a third button there. And it takes a bit of getting used to that that's not your right click. Your middle finger is your right click. I've noticed that difference. I also like that the uh, backwards and forwards are actually tilting the mouse wheel. That's pretty neat. I also use a G13, I don't use a keyboard. So that's the other reason I want more buttons on my mouse so I can get to those abilities easier. I like having a lot of other stuff on my left hand. Utility stuff, menu, inventory, things like that. XP. Character sheet. Interesting. I can see that working out pretty well. I'm pretty used to, if I play a character regularly, I'm pretty used to what abilities and what buttons, so... You know, that part is... Nice, I like the... I have those keys available like that. I'm still getting used to the... I can't remember what I map mapped it to. It looks like it's Alt, according to my hotbars. So I have Alt on my left hand, and then again those 12 buttons on my right thumb. I also use a different screen layout on my caster, so that's also a big difference. That's why my Alts are on, my, on the right side of the screen. It's the sneak down through the potions, which I have not learned. They're not muscle memoried at this point. I usually just click them if I need them. My rogue has all the abilities on the... Well, not all of them. I think most of them that I use often fit on the first 12 at the moment. Haven't got too far into Destiny's and stuff, which I'll probably need to reallocate some buttons for. We'll see. Hey, no problem, Mortal Effects. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again. Roderick Nettle's familiar giggle can be heard in the next courtyard. It's time to deal with him once and for all. Ah, uh, plot point, plot point, plot point. Oh, okay, you be hit yet? Thank you, finally. It kind of takes his time being available to be hit.
scroll of the utility vest. Eh. I'm looking for that last piece of the anti great epic anti great X. That's what I need from here. Other than that, I'm just familiar with these quests and it's quick and easy XP, so I run them fairly often. It's relaxing. Let's see grouping. Let's see what groups are up. Nothing I care to do at the moment. Where am I going? Let's go house D. Since I know where to have my post processing effects off, I'll go ahead and do black lock. Yeah, there's each sentinel's chain going on. Druid's curse. But really, nothing at a harder difficulty or anything that really I want to do at the moment. Hmm. Lag, though. There we go. Echoes of dripping water reverberate I guess I should be doing this in Epic Hard, but no. It's not really that big of a deal. Slightly so or for slightly more XP. These guards look and smell like zombies. At some point I'll get back to the temple. But not now. And I need to go finish some favor on some things too. That'll come in time. Get a plus five tome. Oh, archers can be so annoying. Crippling hit. Such. Surprise that zombie wizard often falls. Never comes back up. Get stuck down there on the shrooms. I have a couple items I need to farm up as well. Who was I doing this on the other day? I was doing this. Oh, I did this on Var the other day. My sorcerer. It's amazing how completely different play that is. Just the way you approach all the mobs and how you take them out. I like streaming with Shaw a lot because I don't have to pay attention often very much. I can just sort of, oh yeah, I'm doing this, go over there and kill stuff and not worry about health, so it's a lot easier to monitor and chat and such. Same anyway, bother with the uh, festival and such this time around yet? 
I haven't gotten around to it. I meant to, but I haven't done it yet. This key is colored a rich red. You can't tell whether the color is paint or rust or something worse. Mostly because I said I haven't been playing too much outside of the two times a week I'm scheduled to. Just other stuff going on. Yeah, I missed. I imagine there's not much attractive loot in them anymore for you. From here you can see nothing moving on the pirate ship below. Moans and the sounds of shuffling feet come from further down this corridor. I'm starting to understand a bit why people start skipping just regular random chests and such because at a certain point it's just another random piece of loot you have to store somewhere so you can sell it off for a platinum that you may already be full on there's very little in the most chests anymore that's attractive at a certain level of gearing At least with that, that's what I've decided to, just to discover, personally. Figured. Does that mean you're running uh, the temple a lot to try to get those, or you just continue with your normal grind and not worrying about it for now? At least you got one down. Gold coins glint brightly at the end of this corridor, but so do the steel weapons held in pirate hands. I think the highest I have is plus four at the moment. So that's why I mentioned earlier favor grinding. It's something I'm probably going to be doing at some point before I would uh, true re reincarnate this character in particular. I'm fairly close. Is it 43 or 4400? I don't remember. It just seems like I never get around to doing those last couple things I need to do. Did that work 
with your build. I mean, not that the plus one over a plus six is that big of a deal, but still. Did it help your build at all to have that plus one on decks? I guess that's something at least. That little plus one extra bonus. Come down here so I can kill you, dude. There you are. Oh, really? You didn't die? Come on. There you go. from an old guildy just saying hello haven't chatted in a while
was doing the TR grind thing. You know, I used to play in what mod was that I used to play? They basically had TRs in it. I can't remember what they called them. But it was something just like TRs. I never did play it long enough to do any of that. As you enter, you are surprised to hear the clamor of battle and the cries of the wounded. The tower is being attacked from the inside. <laughs> Two day TRs. I think my best epic reincarnation was just at a week. It's not difficult, it just takes time. I could probably beat that if I did potions and such. Ooh, excuse me. All right. Report back to the guy who just appeared right in front of my face. Well, there's a nice little glitch. It's like that scene in Holy Grail, where he just keeps running and running. There we go. Finally got out of it. Keeps running at the uh, castle. Not even worthy of a highlight. That was pretty funny. After the sounds of battle die away, the door to the armor is strong and sweeps open. layer of dust covers the tunnel floor. Even worse than the choking dust is the stench wafting up from the pipes. The water from the leaking pipes covers the floor of this room. The rats down below pay the filth no mind. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? There we go. I 
it's been odd interviewing, talking about software testing and SDLC and all that stuff that I haven't dealt with in a while. It's been, what, two months since I've been out of work, and before that I wasn't actually doing a lot of the testing, so... It's a lot going back into that world. That's good, missed. June, roughly on schedule for the next update. A little bit of time for the current changes to soak in. We'll see what the next ones for sure are. So what I understand about that epic Amarath is that it's not going to be a remix, but new quests. So if there's actual new quests, then we'll see. I could... I think I've done the... that stuff on this character, but... And that was very enjoyable. I hope it'll be better with my, uh... Static group.
I'm still curious as to where warlocks are going to be, but I have no specific attraction towards them. Oh, there you are. I still haven't played Druid or Favored Soul yet. So we'll see. Whenever I get around to getting to Warlock, how yeah, that's going to play out. We done eleven minutes five. Ten K less. What else to do? Um, let's go to the ship, refresh buffs, go dump some stuff off, kind of thing. Just 
Druid's Chain. And then we'll see if there's no LFM. We'll put up an LFM for Spies and Wiz King and all that after this. Oh no. It's a wagon found. Hello, me. new follower. Oh, that delay. For real, for real, for real. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. As you enter Uth Lodge, you are greeted only by silence and a strange smell. A smell like a weed choked vine after a rain. Fruits, vines, creatures in Uth Lodge. Some foul. There is some kind of wooden man beyond the roof. Defeating his fellow defenders. Um, I wouldn't say often. I'm still sporadic on my own channel. I had been streaming Saturdays for a while, and then. That changes basically depending on the SO's work schedule. And I know they were off last Saturday and are off this Saturday. Or was it Saturday before? I forget. Anyway, I try to have another day at least a week, but I haven't been doing that. Um, so, no, it's intermittent, which is why, really, if you follow me on there or Twitter, it's easier to get notified when I do stream. But yeah, I do want to set up a second day at least for streaming regularly. But as I said, things are kind of up in the air at the moment. So... Something rustles in the deep After I have a job and things settle down with that a bit, I'll probably have a better idea of when I can do things. And which job I have will also depend on some things. I have a possibility of getting a job at a university, which would be interesting. Yep. Understand that, Isander. Understand that. I often have streams on the background while I'm doing other things, so I don't necessarily have my eyes glued to the screen the entire time or hear everything but uh it's the man in gray. oh you know i forgot to put One step ahead. another ring on oops but yeah um i might have to shift shift this stream later depending on the job i get so we shall see there's probably some change coming to my streaming schedule shortly. The third woodwork has taken notice of the disturbance and does not Oh, my knees. Well met. I had grown weary of naught but bark and leaves for company. You are aware mm -hmm. this place is far from safe, yes? <laughs> but of course you are. Danger is... Well, it should come through... DDO Unlimited. 
on this channel. I forgot to tweet main because it's manual on, if I do it on here. Um, usually, if I stream on my own channel, it's automatic. So. <laughs> you just got a notification about Menu Monday. I know Twitch said they were working on notifications or something earlier. I don't remember what it was. Well, they've been working on notifications quite a lot. And there was something else I saw today specifically on their um, Twitter that they were working on. So, yeah. In theory... Following on Twitch and Twitter will get you notified, but obviously that depends on the, if that functionality of the website's working or not. Well, we're only an hour late. I did see that the uh, damsels are on tonight on Twitter earlier, so it is definite that the damsels are on tonight. 2 a.m. my time. I'll go ahead and do a quick. Uh, Dude, Tuesdays on Twitch TV DD O stream hiding. Thank you, autocorrect hiding. Twitch Tuesday. Uh, what did I call it? Dungeons and Dragon Cam. And hashtag DDO. Well, there. You should now have a tweet. I know I saw a tweet earlier on DDO Unlimited about uh, DDO PL. So I know that was at least saying. Something was going on on this channel. But, you know, it's pretty casual around here, so... All volunteer and such. I did murder my knight. Arrgh, why do I take that stupid quest? I know I'm not supposed to take Murder My Night because I always do that. I go up here to do Outbreak and just click over to it without thinking. And now my chat is in the way, so I can't click on it. There we go. All right. Other one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Oh, I have to reset the other one. So I can do outbreak. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, that's annoying. The head priest stands across the room. Head priest Jaskier says, take that key on the table. I forget which way it opens as the door to hospital wing swings open. Moist air, reminiscent of rotten foam. Why do I keep forgetting my remove fear? Really want to get one of those uh, planar girds, get the greater heroism clicky, so I don't have to worry about it as much. Use that instead with its other benefits. A patient lies sick. Or no, I'm in the right destiny to not ignore that stuff, aren't I? You can do something to help. This wizard has taken ill just like the other patients. Magical might did not protect him. <laughs> This corpse contains some of the sample the head priest spoke of. 
Nearby, a key that fell from its hand lies. <laughs> Oh, there was a Steam weekend for Endless Dungeon, was it? There was two or three games there was a free weekend for. I played the two Endless ones that I didn't already own. One of them I thought was pretty good. Endless Dungeons, that was pretty neat. I liked that. Definitely a different take on the dungeon crawler kind of thing. Also, it was sort of sci-fi, which was odd for the name. You expect it to be a little more fantasy-based, but it was definitely sci-fi-based. With that, head priest Jaskier opens a door to the quarantine area. I keep banging my head against uh, the one level in Rollers of the Realm. Played that a little bit again the other day. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I need to get back to that. Oh, that level is ridiculous. I played for something like an hour and lost. I was doing pretty good just figuring out how to stay alive and all that. And then, uh, yeah. Lost it all. Lost my cleric. And then the wise old woman, and then everything went down from there. I couldn't get enough mana to get a revive back in. So, I failed. Yeah, see, that's better. 3 minutes 25. That's a pretty good time. I think it helped to uh, bunch them up like that. Thorn and Paw next. And then Druid's Curse and we can go not drink the water. You have reached Thorn Hollow, the Druid Hallsaves home. This idyllic woodland scene betrays nothing of what corruption has been.
do the stuff. Do the stuff. Uh. Think of what else to do. I really can't think of anything else new and exciting since last week to update everybody on. Oh, now there's no breaky. -y. Doesn't that figure? Don't tell me he's over the yeah, app, he is. Why do you keep spreading out so much, guys? There we go. throughout the hollow. Perhaps now it will be possible to enter Hall Sane's chambers. into Halsing's own chambers. There is a third corruption node here. And a remarkable... Why do you have to be right next to this? Oh well. Since it already happened, we'll go full board. My cleaves would work. They're supposed to. Great dire bear and her druid companion have fallen. The source of the corrupt. Wait, you are looking for Hall Same, says the injured druid. He is not here. He has gone to Druid's Deep. With that. Five minutes thirty three for thirty five K. That's pretty decent. But while Halsane lives, none of these lands are safe. I should be remembering to bag those. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Joe Kasra, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. You must be a wolf, a fish, and a bear to find the way. Good, good, dear. This annoying wisp out of my way. Almost ignoring anything they can cast is Gust of Wind. It slows you down. Trying to time a cleave during that short vulnerability window. Keep missing it. Always oh, just a bit off. Else it could have meant. An air pocket is visible in the tunnel ceiling nearby. Light shines brightly from above. You have passed through the tunnels to somewhere else. Yeah. Um, you really need to have good DPS over multiple targets to get those optionals. It's worth it, because you have the extra chest that uh, has potential drops some of the name items. But. Especially in higher difficulties, it can be difficult to get them all in time. I know if I get to level. 26 ish and do it on hard I can usually get them but sometimes I miss below that I don't have quite enough to do them get through everything else but I just can't get those optionals Sometimes it's close.
<laughs> First that bard, and now you. Yep, it's a nice little option we have. And once you get to the wood woods, you know, you can take your time taking them down. It's just that you have to kill all the other things. Usually it's the wisp that cause problems for me. Most of my characters don't have much in the way of force damage. And 38k in 6 minutes, 33. Not horrible. And the end reward. See, so yeah, that's why I run those, because it's pretty easy, quick XP. On this character, at least. I've got enough DPS but uh, it goes pretty quickly. Now this is, let's see. No, I'm just gonna go on normal. This one, the end, the dragon fight, is just, long climb down the well. just in out of my reach sometimes on hard. You can see that the I can probably do it no problem here, but. In the interest of just getting through and getting the XP, I'll just do it on normal. Now this is Shaw, my fighter. With just a splash of monk. I did see someone, let's see who, oh, it was Ravon playing earlier. A uh, barbarian that was doing really well in uh, Thunderholm. Way under level. I don't have the uh, automatic self-healing for that. Damage mitigation, I suppose you would say. Above and beyond this waterfall, you will need to find a way up in order to follow it. The cabin ahead looks different. You must be close to the surface once again. A Yuan Ti priestess has raised a magical barrier. Preventing you from passing further. You on T appear, emerging from impossibly high places of yeah. the hmm. Oh, good. She did come into range. That's nice. Just one, one more swing. As the Yuan Ti priestess dies, the magical barrier blocking your way dissipates. 
Something seems wrong with the dry okay. water must be poisoning its tree. Another barrier can be seen up ahead. The Yuan Ti have gone to great pains to keep the rules out. You find yet another Yuan T barrier. Must be on the right track. Young tea bearers. So, I'm trying to figure out is this passage here supposed to be like the dragon's way out if it wants to get out? Well, at the moment, I would say probably just pure barb would work. That's what I understand, what I've seen. Fighters get a lot of feats, which is nice, but barbarians have really nice damage and self-healing. So. A large green dragon has made this cavern his lair. That must be the source of the Yuan Ti's poison. The great beast looks at you. Way too fast to the second phase. Five minutes, 48 seconds. Most of that was running and waiting for Yon T to spawn. Yeah, two rogue on barb would probably be really nice as well. I just don't know what the capstone is, so what you'd be giving up for that, I don't know. What those choices are. I haven't played a Barbarian Beyond level 2, I think.
Titan, what do you want to do? And what level are you? I just did Evening Star stuff, dude. 26? Oh, that's... I always take Rogue at level 1, and then sometime later, as I understand it. Um, if you want to do Evening Star stuff, then... Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. I guess I'll bring Var on, then. Titan, if you want to do stuff. We can do anything star stuff on VAR, I guess. Let's see. I don't feel like messing with those thieves' tools. Alright, let me switch characters here. And embed a little bit of self promo. In the VOD and switch over to VAR. Splash up the DDO stream schedule real quick while I'm loading. Go back to the DO. All right, let's make sure everything's loaded. That's an interesting way of doing it, Skunk. I always thought you went later to take advantage of higher ints due to levels and stuff, but that makes sense. All right. Oh, there's a spies group going. Oh, well, e e e. I don't see you on Titan. But I guess Barb really doesn't lend itself to having a lot more intelligence. There you are. Where'd you go? All right. Well, that also makes a difference too. Go straight to level four and you bypass some things. All right, do I have a key? I do have a key. All right, good. What was I doing on here? I don't even remember. I'll be at Evening Star shortly. Uh, oh, forgot to renew. Like I said, I haven't been playing, so I forgot to renew the buff, so well, no bother then. The druid's chain then.
Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty good chain to solo. Why doesn't the map show you? Oh, there you are. You're up there. You're running that way. Or did you want to do Outbreak first? Yeah, it looks like Outbreak. That 20 second delay sometimes is annoying. Go ahead and go in. By the time you hear that, I should be at the door. Oh, I gotta reset my window location again. Wow. I still need to make that at least one more uh, tutorial video. Do you want to do... No. Oh. Yeah, normal's fine. All right. Oh, I need to think about buffs. That's right. Different character. I don't know how many times I've done that. I've completely forgotten buffs because I forgot that I went in with it. I switched characters after playing Shaw. And I have to worry about things like buffs. Nah, I don't really need that. Head Priest Jaskier says, Take that key on the table. I forget which way it opens, I'm afraid. There's another as the door to hospital wing swings open. Moist air, reminiscent of rotten foliage, wafts in. See now your DPS is there. Not bad. Hey everybody. How you doing? Those wisps and their reflex saves are annoying. That did no damage to anybody. Fireball to the face of the whole group and nobody got damaged. Really. That's better. Three kills. This wizard has taken ill just like the other patients. Magical might did not protect him. This corpse contains some of the sample the head priest spoke of. Nearby, a key that fell from the deadly tribe. Oh, he actually hit me. How rude. Yeah, I don't know how I missed that whole group of them. That should not happen. Okay, sometimes you just miss fire. I don't know what else to say about that. Yep. Now see, that's a misfire. That was completely... You saw it miss and all that. Yeah. Hey, you want to uh, sit still for a minute, buddy?
Oh, I got your attention finally. With that, Head Priest Jeskier opens a door to the quarantine area. You go through the quarantine area, smell Perrin Uth appears. The infection is far more advanced with him, and as a result, he is far stronger. Ah, uh, he leashed. Come on, guys, your boss is dead. Just fall over. Alright, that was easy. One down. I'm getting up there in Shadow Dancer. That's good, I'm almost... Done. Move on to the next destiny. It's the festival of the traveler. <laughs> That the festival notice is weird. All right, Ascender, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Enjoy your evening. Yeah, it's working good, Titan. Looks like I can do a couple fighter past lives and then move over to Barb on Shaw and pretty much play the same way. Slightly different abilities and build, but mostly the same way. Of course, I'll do the two rogue. So, um, where are you going, Titan? Back to the one we just did.
As you enter Uth Lodge, you are greeted only by silence and a strange smell. A smell like a weed-choked garden after a rain. Are you? Roots, vines, creatures in Uth Lodge. Some foul. There is some kind of wooden man beyond. A wood. That'd been funny to take out the whole room in one fireball. Nice trip. Something rustles in the deep foliage of the wood. A second woodwork can just be seen. Overtaking Uth Lodge now has one fewer defender. It's the man in gray again, always hmm. one step ahead. Nope. Oh, yeah, I can't see it. Nice. It would seem that Baron Uth plants have broken through the roof with unnatural force. A third Woodwold is tending them. <laughs> There you are, buddy. Take a break in the nice fire. Place is far from safe, yeah? I did buy some more inventory space for this character, I think, on the sale DDO store. It's a little bit more comfortable play. You got some room for loot. I suppose I can throw in that. Why is that up there? It doesn't seem like the right place for that. Well, as I said, this is a different screen you set up on a different character, so... Bars and everything are different.
heart seeds. Gotta be the heart seeds. Get them while they're hot. I'm in Titan. Start my buffing. And there's Titan. Just in time to get the buffs. You have reached Thorn Hollow, the druid Hallsayer's home. This idyllic woodland scene betrays nothing of what corruption lies within. Much nicer. I'll probably need to put that on. Sensor of this cavern is a force the corruption known to destroy. The force of its vitality falters and recedes. Corrupted root walls wither and grow brittle throughout the hollow. Across the other side. This waterfall remains clean and pure, untouched by the corruption. Does it now? He ran just right to make that annoying. There's another place where they didn't get hit by the fireball. Hmm. Interesting. The second corruption node is destroyed. Vibrations reverberate underfoot 
and then threw out the hollow. One wolf still trying to chase me. It will be possible to enter hollow. How lovely. I wonder if I could do that and then this. Let's see if that'll work. Don't forget the collapsing four this time, Titan. <laughs> the tunnel opens into you have fallen into a pit of spikes. Looks like you didn't remember. Oh, what a jerk. He snared me. That's a strength check, isn't it? Yep, not a thing at all. 634. Yes, Titan, we're all amazed. And back in for Druid's Curse. <laughs> Joe Coster, that's probably somewhat true. <laughs> I do tend to zerg in some of these. Especially ones I've done quite often and know fairly well. Okay. I'll go ahead and start while you're away. After I finish buffing, of course. Stone skin, I think, is the only thing I need. A lot of these that I consider daily quests, I just zerg because I've done them so often. <laughs> One's just running circles around the other, that's hilarious. That's really funny. Not supposed to just let me through, will it? Oh, well, that's nice. Didn't anticipate that. Please tell me don't just kill these wisps. Familiarity than anything. 
for me at least. If I know them, I know generally a pretty quick route through them. Maybe not the fastest, but good enough. Hello, bear. See, it's not the bear that's the problem, it's those annoying wisps behind it. Let's just end this. Problem is I don't know what ring I switched from. Was it that one? Perhaps this is what the riddle meant by be a fish. I believe it was. I seem to remember having a Christmas seven on my ring. Visible in the tunnel ceiling nearby. Ow. Deep pop. Light shines brightly from above. You have passed through the tunnels to somewhere else. Are you moving yet? Are you back? Oh, come on, there was a bear trap there. You seriously can, aren't going to tell me that that bear trap caught a single bit of that bear? Well, I'm at mini boss. And Titan's moving. Good. I'll wait here just before the mini boss. Be a jerk, you can be a jerk. There you go. That's what you get for being a jerk.
do we got now? Titan's almost here. Oh, probably want haste, don't we? Let's see. Alright. Can't tell if my stone skin still going or not, so I'll go ahead and do it. Time for the fun boss fight. And there we go. Oh, my so 11 minutes, 9 seconds for 44k. Not bad. Finish out of there. What else did you want to do, Titan? Don't drink the water. Actually, I wouldn't mind swapping over to, uh, I think I want War Wizards. Swapping over to my Rogue for Spies. 
Unless you can trap. I didn't see what your build was. Okay. I'll switch over my rogue then we can do spies. Spies is one where DPS doesn't matter as much. It still helps, of course, to be able to take the mobs down quickly, but... The trapping seals definitely help a lot more in spies than some other quests. And here we go. Loading, loading, loading. Let me get back in group. I don't have anything down there. We're just going to. Sp Actually, we're going to spot. I'll just walk. Get to house D from here and just walk down there. Then we'll group back up. There we're grouped. Yeah, I've seen some rogues get the traps in Wiz King as well, but it's a little more annoying because you have to basically go up each tower and the traps are random. People usually just spring them on their way. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and put Venom Blades on. And I'm going to need to trap. Pretty much immediately. But that's why I have the gloves. Do I have anything else? I don't think it's just the gloves. Alright, let's do this.
That seems to be that set of them. Now which ring did I have on? Feather falling? I guess so. No, I had the other one on, looks like. Oh well. I'll need feather falling for this bit anyway. Might need a little bit of help with jump. Let's see. Yep. Where is my jump? It's shield, expeditious retreat, invisibility. I thought I had jump one somewhere. Oh, I know what I have. I have that. Jump on my hat. Back to this. That. This is the battle section. Unless Titans can't take care of them all. Which is probable. Nope, not all of them. Definitely most of them. Disabling your Titan, don't run up. Let me get the traps. So I can get them midway and the grease doesn't come out. It's better that way. And then I'll come around here and get this one. There we go. in there, get the prisoner. Bah. Skeletons pop up. Methods are on their way. And then we have... Oh, I'm still sneaking, aren't I? That's bad. I shouldn't be sneaking. Get my expeditious retreat on. That will help a bit. Ah! How did I miss that? Do I really have to put, I guess I do have to put my jump hat on as well. How annoying. There we go. Get this optional chest over here. Not that there's much in it, but still. It's nice to not leave a chest behind. Just for giggles. I 
I should have been sneaking all along. That was a bit of a mistake. I need to get up there. Is this my set? Yeah, that's my set. Well, aren't you rude? I'm gonna have to use one of those, I think. Stop taking me out of sneak, you jerks. Hmm. All right, well. You hear a metal portcullis slide open in the distance. Do it that way. You look like trouble. Well, I tried to assassinate him. Nice bit of extra XP there. Ooh, more Thieves tools. Now that they stack, it's much easier to keep them in bigger stacks. Instead of saying, eh, you know, 100, 200 is enough. Now I've got 344 already. That's enough for a little while. Oh, uh, this is probably going to be fun. Not a bad jump up there. Even with evasion, that part's just not fun. Evade, evade, evade all over the place. So I have a moment here, I'll go ahead and just heal up a bit. Don't be unfriendly. Where, where'd you come from? <laughs> the ice knife has dropped down from above. That's hilarious. Well, that was nice. Except that... Uh, 
kind of flew strangely that time. What do you want, cat? Hi. What are you wanting? We already have the... Yeah, we already have the bonus. I'm not going to worry about these extra ones up here. Where are the jerks, though? I don't see them. Alright. Should be 8. Yep, we're at 8%. Those last couple up here will give us 10. That'll work. Let me get these last ones here. Yes, I don't care. Why are you not letting me throw? There we go, that's our 10%. Voices and such. The sunlight at the end of the tunnel shows you have reached the end of the eighty thousand. That's so nice. Mm, I don't have I thought I had D door. Must not have it yet. Nope, I'm only level two shadow dancer. I wouldn't have it yet. Are we running that again or doing something else? You want to do the chain? All right. We can do the chain, let's see. I have... Eh, some room left. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the... Watch my here. I don't have the wrong... I want that ring on, I think. Let's get some repairs in. Not that there's much of that. Got all that stuff sold. on the beaches, is that the one you want to do next? That's over this way, isn't it? Somewhere. You 
It's the festival of the traveler. That thing pops up just randomly, man. Surprises. Oh, it's right here somewhere. These are the four, though, aren't they? No, this is it. Yep, that's it. All right, so we're on the beaches. I gain any ranks? Oops. So I don't want. Oh, I have two points available. What do we have? Grim precision. We'll just grab the next level of that. Real quick. Yep. Pick which way you want to go. I don't care. I do want to put my finding gear on, though. Yep. Champion Archmage. Beneath warship has made anchor just off Mistral Island. Safely warship it is. Somebody's snoring. You like the frontal assault? Oh, you're a barbarian, of course. You like the frontal assault method. I forgot about that. I like how I can sneak and still jump in and out of the water like that. But I'm sneaking. Look a sorcerer. Hey, look a dead sorcerer. Ah, my chat disconnected. Why did my chat disconnect? 
That was rude. Weird. Little blip in the chat there. fortified the front entrance to their fortress. Yeah, I'm not going to have to jump for that. Once I put that on, I knew I kept that hat around for a reason. I see you went up that way and over there. I should be able to hit these two guys if I don't do that. Looks like other people might be getting disconnected as well. It's not just me. a trap up here I can deal with. Oh, that's hell happening down there. Why oh, look, yes, yes, there is. How did he find me?
course, Pucky. Oh, there's too many there. <laughs> you thought you had all the blisters. And then you're in a corner and boom. Yeah. Um, what's the best way to get back up there? Probably go back up the way we came because there's that uh, shrine right next to the treasure chest up there. Wait a minute, we need to go back up this way, sorry. It's up and around that way. Yeah, the blisters are pretty deadly. So that's no surprise. My charisma is so poor, I don't think I have raised dead scrolls or anything. Bull crap. That really annoys me. Those guys should not have been able to see me. Here you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. I used to really like the, their shakes. As horrible as they are, I used to like those. They're really bad. Oh, wrong one. an archer up there that doesn't like you. Can I actually use this in other people? Looks like I can. How about that? Hmm. You annoyed some other guys too. They're coming up behind you. That was an assassinate that should have killed him. Hmm. Oh, did you know... Is it this? Yeah, yesterday. Arby's has uh, the orange cream shakes back, which I really enjoy. almost think I should shrine just to get my heals back. I don't really have any buffs or anything, so why not?
Okay, I thought that was the ones you'd missed down there. Evident not there's ones down there, I see. Good thing I was sneaking past them the first time. Yay. Loot. 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 Shouldn't need to sneak any much more. Barrel. More barrels. Crates. Exclusive one. Um, need to unlock this lever. There we go. Why'd you leave? He's got buddies. He's got several buddies. I may have to leave. Should be another lever back somewhere. One of these should open it. Just two negative levels? Yeah. I can take care of some of that if you need it. Unless you have restore pots already. the treasure one. I always forget which way the treasure goes. There it is. So that wasn't nearly as good as XP per minute. It was fun to do that. Something different. Well, since we're over here, I might as well go to the marketplace to do uh, Bazaar. That would seem to make some sense. I'll go ahead and put this on repeat. Yep. Mark your 
place is this way. <clears throat> Ow. Street South. Sure, I can arrange that later if I feel like doing something else. Hmm, completely forgot about that. Gotta remember my shadow trainings. Okay. I want to assassinate some guys. Just for the fun of it. Mm, which one is my feather fall ring? Take a bit to sneak through all this. There's no rush because Titan's doing inventory management. Inventory space was on sale. Last I checked. It's a very handy upgrade, especially for your primary character. Get all the banks and all the inventory spaces. I was going to get some on this, but I ran out of points. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad for running spies. Except that, no, that still wouldn't be bad for running spies. Electric resist 25. Oh yeah, I forgot I did those. Keep foisting those off on my lower level characters. Get them up here. Oh... Well, it's been almost three hours and I haven't had a break yet, so I'm going to step in Bargain Bazaar and then take a short break. Oh, I forgot to take it. Hmm. How about that? 
Did you actually take the quest, Titan? Because I did not. Ah, uh, there we go. Thank you. There, that's better. Alright, I'm going to take a sh really short break and I will be back shortly. I'm already in the quest titan, so go ahead and proceed as you wish. All right, I'm back. Turn my brake sign off. Yeah, you get set. Did you start yet, Titan? What happened? I don't see you in here. That's cool. 
I might have another hour in me if we uh, keep going here. Ooh, that's almost a level, isn't it? I would really like to get that level tonight. Only 41k? That should be pretty easy to get. Ah, oh, disconnected from chat again. I think Twitch is having some chat issues at the moment. I'm going to reset the quest. Oh, you're right outside. I didn't realize that. Hold on a second. Let me reset. Okay. You ready to go in then? Are you AFK? Why did I not? Oh, I'm in the wrong channel. There we go. Hi, Jokazra. Yeah. To me, it looked like everybody disconnected, including me, and then reconnected. So I don't know if you guys can see it on the dragon. Let me look at the stream here. Yeah, you really can't see how bad he's shedding. But his whole head is peeled off, basically. It's still sitting there because the, at the back of his neck it hasn't quite broken off there yet. But his whole top of his head is all a layer of white dried scales. He looks dead, doesn't he? He just like flopped there on his rock. <laughs> looks kind of dead. You can see his plate of strawberries and blueberries he got as a treat. Anyway, back to the game. I take it Titan's AFK. All right, well, he is here, so I'll go ahead and start. As much as I can do solo. You it looks like the blood tide is expecting your arrival. <laughs> this is why I always keep a shuriken or throwing knife or something on all my characters when I remember to. I don't think some of them have that, but keep a returning throwing weapon just for those cases where you need to do something. Why are you guys not moving? Cat, what are you doing? You're shaking the entire couch. You just gotta itch that bad that you gotta... Shake the entire couch to get at it. Okay, come on in. 
it's clear to the first actual bazaar gate, which I'm just about to shirk and open. He's not that big. I think it was just where he was in relation to where I am or something. It was just weird. He's the older one, so he's not that. So what was he, nine pounds maybe? I don't remember. The scale was kind of being funky last time I were at the vet. Kinds of breakables. You'll have got him by the time I catch up to them to try to assassinate. Yeah, one of our cats is really overweight, though. What? Horse Pucky. Hey, Eric Hughes. How's it going? Hope you're doing well tonight. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Kind of falling in the groove tonight. Haven't been in the mood to play recently very much, so it's kind of nice to be back in the groove. Making progress. All that. A red name walking around out there. This plaza is normally packed with shoppers buying expensive goods, but today it is the site of blood and battle. Bologna. Bologna. Oh, that was perfect. Stunned him right in front of me. Nice to sneak attack. Finish him off. That was awesome. Traps.
Yeah. I know you probably have arthritis, but your claw is in the couch. Please. I am having a blast playing with this character, except for the fact that I don't feel I can solo very well. It's the only thing I don't like about this character. And otherwise, it's a blast. Speaking of blast... Master Blaster running bar account. Yeah, that's nice. I've thought about doing a stick build at some point. Adventure complete. Really? Are you really going to be that rude? On any time would be nice. Yeah. Standing on the trap. Recall back to house D. Actually, I think I'm going to stop by the airship and do some selling and rebuffing. Basically, you'll understand. North, anyway. Might as well hit the airship while I'm up here. We haven't done black lock, and then we haven't done tied turns. So black lock first, and then tied turns should be the rest of it. Locks the one all the way out here, past spies. Yeah, it has some interesting aspects to it. Um. 
I like it. Now I've already got my graphics turned down, so black the black lock itself won't uh, freeze my screen, hopefully. Didn't earlier, I don't think, when I was on Shaw. I like the whole um, oh, house P chain. I can't even think of its name right now. It's starting to slow down. <laughs> Brain's fried. But yeah, um, I like that chain. I don't mind the Drew chain. I know a lot of people didn't like the Drew chain. I don't mind it. And there are chains that I don't like, but I still, you know, they're... Yeah, that's it, Carnival. Thanks, for Kasra. I was trying to think of what it was, and it was Carnival. The Flare and Carnival. Like, I really don't like Giant Hold, but there's some interesting stuff within it. I don't care for a lot of the quests, but that doesn't mean there's not some interesting stuff in there. Like Crucible. Uh, do you want to go on hard this one? We probably should. Mission, blah, blah. There's just a lot of neat stuff in the carnival chain, especially the snitch, because you can... Well, the snitch for some reasons, because of the, the variety of things you go through. And then uh, party crashes, because of the fact you can have multiple endings depending on how you do everything. So. Yeah, it is. It is pretty meh. Okay, that's a cool Titan. Wait, we, do, we only have one more quest if you want to complete the chain. I know you're tired, but... One more quest after this, and the chain's complete. And I'll probably level. Yeah. The Necro ones are tough. I... There's... There is some interesting stuff in there, but it's just buried in the rest of it, I think. And the whole mechanic of doing the forward open the wand and... All that, just... Eh. I won't be able to do anything these guys will like. No. But I can get out of trouble. I stay on this wizard anyway. Yeah, I I think the last of the Necro Necro 4 is the best of it all around. But there's some pieces of the others that are interesting. They're just not fun to run, though. In general. They aren't that fun to run. Mm. Everything but four. Excuse me a second. Actually, I think it's the same problem they have with... Um, mm. Thunderhome, the Shadow Dragon, in that, you know, the light puzzles were a neat idea, the Tomb of the Tormented was a neat idea, all that stuff had neat ideas, but they did it to death in each quest, instead of saying, hey, here's a neat new mechanic, and let's just leave it at that, and it's, hey, here's this mechanic that you have to do over and over and over again in a single quest. Like the Blighted one. Oh my god, that's annoying neat, especially the first time you run it. That's a really neat way to do things. But, uh, yeah. Fun? And fun doing it that many times in a row? Not really. Oh, 
Oh wow. That was a lot of magic missiles that hit me. Yeah, I agree with that. Well, and also, even though you could argue for the puzzles being slightly overdone in Shroud and killing portals being overdone, it's a raid, so you've got people that can split up and do that stuff. It's not quite as bad as some other places. Of course, but you don't meet the requirements. I mean, all the requirements for that. But, yeah, I, I agree that Shroud is well done overall. It's got the right mix of things. Whereas I say the... Um, whatever. Yeah, again, my brain's failing me tonight. The Shadow Dragon raid has way too much of everything that it has. painted green is visible in the door. Perhaps you can find a key that opens it. You can open it if you want. I was just trying to see if I could see the box from out here. Nope, not quite. Can't quite see the trap box from out here. Well, let's do it this way then. It's over here, isn't it? There we go. That's fun. I think Titan just realized he went the wrong way. Yeah, I am having a good time playing this. But as I said, the problem is I need somebody else to uh, get aggro and tank and all that. Definitely sneak around, do traps, do some assassinations, that sort of thing, but I cannot take a lot of the damage. I could figure out a better way to solo do all the things that would be different, but a couple times I've logged on meaning to play my rogue, I just haven't found parties. So I'm like, ah, well, not gonna play the rogue then. No parties available. Which doesn't make any sense when I know my limits there. So the rogue changes to trapping weren't enough. I know they did a rebalancing pass. They changed it a bunch recently. But I haven't. I've never bothered with the trap parts. I've seen some people use them to nice effect. I just haven't bothered. Go ahead. Every time I open a door, it breaks my stealth, so... It's much better if you open doors. Oh, you didn't grab the key? Alright. Oh, 
I'll go get this uh, sorcerer. Somebody else, hopefully. Yep, got two of them. I'll let you keep keep killing the undead. I'll go for, try to find somebody living. Do I really have the wrong thing on again? <sighs> yeah, I'm not used to the, all the gear on my rogue. Moans and the sounds of shuffling feet come from further down this corridor. Oh, this is where you get to go crazy. Killing all the undead. Well, at least the traps are supposed to be better than they were. Oh, he's coming after me. He was just trying to get around the crowd of knockdown brethren. Where are you going? Get back in there and die with everybody else. Champions. This should make it a little more interesting. This one guy just doesn't want to die. There we go. And more Thieves Tools, now up to 437. So I'm getting more Thieves Tools than I'm using, which is interesting. Uh, somebody made a comment, it seems like Thieves Tools are dropping more often. Don't know about that, but... Do you seem to be having... enough of them? Oh, come on, really? How did that assassination happen? Uh, interesting. I've been passing him from Shaw through the shared bank to uh, my rogue here. So. I've definitely been seeing some. Swing a two hander pajamas. Yeah. Hey, client side, how's it going? Haven't seen you in a little bit. Hope you're doing well. So him I can assassinate. The other guy, however. Shouts and alarms echoed from down the hallway. More 
more guards are approaching to check on the vault. These, yeah, these are zombies, except for him. <sighs> well, let's see how much damage I can do. What's my other thing I haven't done? And he's living. We'll open these guys up. Let's see, I want to do. Ah! Control one. Alt three, okay. I missed. I am using... The, blue on this key is only cheap paint as a the Sacrificial Dagger and the Blade of the High Priestess. It seemed to be a nice combination, at least to start off with, here in Epic. There's guys to the other side of this door. And I am still using a lot of the gear that client side provided me. So once again, client side, thank you for that. He must have seen me somehow, because that should have been a double assassinate. I haven't gone through the trouble of setting up character pages for any of my other characters except Shaw, so I don't have a quick handy reference to. I can point you towards for any of my character builds, but client side did a lot of help with this build one Saturday morning afternoon kind of thing. I'm going to go ahead and shrine here real quick to get my Heels back. All right. So I didn't know this, but those guys that keep walking off the edge, they keep, it's almost like they leash every time, and they regain all their hit points when they do that, which is really annoying. I was trying to dot them with my uh, sorcerer, and it wasn't working very well. How dare somebody see me? Why don't y'all go run to the middle, and Titan will distract you, and I'll just kill the barrels back here. There's a lot more breakables left to get. And Zombie is searching for Titan. So there's the thing, and there's no other barrels there. Huh, what other brickles did I miss? Oh, I got ransack. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Got the ransack. Let's 
Let's see if I can do this. Move. Oh, there's a couple more I missed. Thought I got those earlier. That's a bit more damage, but not quite as much as I was hoping. Of course, there's a poison on a zombie, which doesn't work very well. Hey, ready to level. Perfect. Wanted that. Thank you. Thank you, Rikibis. The blood tide hunted the treasure before you during its raid on the black lock. Perhaps you will find a better use for it than they do. No, I want the chest, not the useless pile of gold. I want the useless chests instead. All right, so is that it for you, Titan, or are we going to do the last one real quick? Nah, I'm fine. I've got 437 Thieves tools. I'm set for a couple quests, I believe. Yeah. I just don't like having to wade through them all and then getting... 10 gold at epic levels. Those piles of gold should be a little bit better at epic levels than they are. Okay, a lot better than they are at epic levels. Yeah, the first time I saw a pile of gold, I was excited. Because you're right, it, it is that whole D&D loot thing. It's piles of loot, just like you expect. Unfortunately disappointing. Okay, so Titan is off for the evening. It was fun, Titan. Yeah, I understand that. When you get tired, it's hard to stay awake, even if it's something you want to do. Shroud's back to 21 minutes. I could join with somebody for completion. They're almost done. That's cool. I haven't done too many training runs, I don't think. The Mostly I was just, I joined a group and they were zerging and I tried to keep up. See you, Titan. That's how I learned a lot of quests, by just joining other groups that zerged them. Not the best way to explore and learn everything about a quest, but really good for getting through it quickly. Hmm, 30 electric resistance. Nah. I'm doing fine as it is with the evasion. I did get help from... A lot of help from this guild and a little bit of help from other guilds with loot. So, they were good about that. A lot of Shaw's gear um, at mid-level was from various guild members. Uh, let's see. I 
don't really see anything else here that I want to do with this character, so let's log out here. We'll head back to Shaw, maybe. I do agree. The DDO community is pretty awesome, for the most part. There are some, as there are always, some jerks here and there, but for the most part... Yeah, it's about time for his lights to go off for the night, so I'm not surprised. He's... yeah, it's bedtime for him. Alright. Oh, I'm still loading. Oh, you know what? I forgot to take my level. <laughs> oh, next time I get on, I'll take the level. Alright. Looks like everything else is on that needs to be on. Alright, let me think here. We went there, went there. I did not do Spies with Shaw, so I can do that. Didn't do Wiz King. I don't really want to solo that. Um, yeah. Yep. The bearded dragon has to occur for you. Oh, by the way, I want to take a picture. I don't know if I got one. I can't remember of him the other day. He got really mad. Not sure what he was so mad about, but his beard was amazing. So if you haven't seen a bearded dragon or haven't looked up what they look like, um, they're your basic lizard with these spikes under their chin. And they change color. The whole dragon, will change, the whole animal will change color. But the spikes underneath just look whatever color they normally are, but when they get mad, they turn into black. They're, that's what really gives them the beard. I mean, they look like they have a beard all the time with the spikes, but they really look at, like a beard when they're mad. It's amazing. Thick, bushy, black beard under. And it's a reptile, so you know, it doesn't have hair. So it looks really weird. But yeah. He really was showing it off the other day. I really should remember to turn post processing back on after I do black lock. He's pretty mellow. He had plenty of food and water. Um, I guess he hadn't had fresh fruit lately. Maybe that was why he was mad. Oh, seriously? That's annoying when that happens. At least I didn't go all the way down to the bottom like I do sometimes. Just caught the edge of that air jet. Looked like I was fine, but just caught it. So yeah, he uh, he gets mad sometimes. He sometimes tries to eat the out of his fingers when it's snack or meal times. That's amusing. I have a picture of one of the cats nose to nose with him. It's funny. 
I was all, what the heck is this thing? And he was all, what the heck is this thing? Is it, is it good or bad? Took him outside the other day for a little bit of sunshine and walk and such. I think he was in the grass or on the driveway or something. I'm not exactly sure where. But he is... He does not like trees. Specifically the uh, moving shadows. We think it's because he thinks it's birds coming to eat him. We're not sure about that, but that's what it seems like. Something like that. So he freaks out quite a bit when they're, he's outside. So we don't do that very often. He's a different pet. I tend to just prefer cats. Dogs are okay. Our dog we have right now is just a pain because of his separation anxiety. Not sure what I'm going to do with him when I have to most likely go into the office for work when I get a new job. Because I was tele telecommuting all the time, so it didn't matter. I could just stay with him. You know? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I went too far. I don't want any jerks. And the dog just, he's so big, he doesn't understand that when he tries to play with the rats or the dragon, he can step on them and kill them. He just doesn't understand that, so. I have to be careful about him and any of the other animals. The cats, you know, they've got claws. They can defend themselves pretty well. He's learned to stay away from the cats somewhat when they're angry. Especially you, buddy. Mr. Old Man there. Especially you. But... I would not call the dragon domesticated. No reptile is really domesticated, from what I understand. I don't think one of our rats is really domesticated. <laughs> he is always exploring, climbing, getting up where he shouldn't. All the time. He hoards food all the time. Takes it, hides it, all that stuff. So I really don't consider him very domesticated either. Dog, cats, sure. Ah, that was bad. You never cut, catch the air jet you want. You always catch the one you don't. I didn't do those, so there's no sense doing these. Best I can get is 8%. Yeah, we were watching a show for a while about people who thought they had to, uh, they thought that they had domesticated their animals and hadn't, and the tragic consequences thereof, usually death, of both the animals and the owner. The owner first, and the animals because they killed the owner. So, yeah. Snakes and the larger lizards. Ah, I forgot my remote fear again. Well, it's like, you know, when you see animals in a shelter, wherever, and, oh, look, that one's cute, it wants to play with me. Well, actually, no, 
wants to claw the heck out of you. <laughs> it isn't thinking in the same ER. I, that was the main point of the show. I don't remember what show it was. It was something on Netflix, I think. About animals and their owners. Deadly animals or something, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. It's basically, you know, what you're thinking and what you think the animals are thinking aren't the same thing. You gotta realize that. They're not human, they don't have human emotions. We had a little dust mop of a dog Eventually, get out of the house and one of our neighbors yesterday while we were on a walk with our dog and riled him the heck up. He was all ready to play and all that stuff. And kind of annoying. He was being relatively good before that. Went to the dog park, was it last week or the weekend before? And uh, it was a mud pit. Hopefully they'll do some maintenance on it and get it back into shape. Get that grass growing again. Oh, guess what I forgot? Featherfall. How nice. Well, since I'm down here, I can take a couple of these idiots out. So there aren't quite as many arrows on my butt. Yeah, it was a lot of lonely people on that show that really enjoyed their animals. That was that's what they did. And uh not always for the best. Oh come on, you jerks. Let me do what I need to do to progress the quest. It's for this reason I don't understand rogues and disabling device. Because I don't have to face these levers to finish turning them. So why should I have to face the box to finish disabling? Come here, you jerk. Get closer. There you go, right in my face so I can kill you. Perfect. I suppose I can take a feather fall off now, there we go. For this bit anyway. We've been watching Midsummer Murders lately, which is a fun little detective show that we're enjoying quite a bit. They were watching some other Murders in Paradise or something show earlier before they fell asleep. Let's get this done. All right. Put the feather falling back on. What? That's lovely, isn't it? I love when that happens. By love, I mean nothing of the sort. I think this will be my last quest for the night. The way things are going here. I'm slipping up, getting tired, not paying attention. All good signs of being tired and ready to
to stop questing for the night. There we go. At a certain point, it just becomes more trouble than it's worth. You get tired, and especially if you're soloing. If you're in a group, you, know, you can sort of rely on the group to fix things for you. If you make mistakes or cover things that you forget, but when you're soloing, not quite the case. Well, maybe we're going to get the uh, 8%? I don't know. I've missed a couple breakables. We don't even get the 8%. I didn't do the ones by the optional chests. And... I don't know. I don't remember now. Sit down, everybody. Let me just finish you off. So I've had two interviews over the phone in two days, and it's just a really stressful thing to ha to do. I don't really like interviewing. Look forward to not having an interview tomorrow. Although, really, I would prefer to have a in-person interview soon. Hopefully, have some semblance of certainty that I'll be getting. Good job, here's really good. There's the 8%. 10%, 10%, uh, good enough for me. 67. Perfectly fine. Alright. Let's see. This new mouse on the other computer here is still a little weird. You know, the mouse wheel still clicks a bit as you turn it, and everything seems a little stiff and not broken in yet. And, yeah. So, again, everybody, I really appreciate your watching. Right, Jacosra, exactly. Um... I'll be sh finish up here shortly. Uh, do you want to remind everybody that the damsels are on tonight, 2 a.m. Central, which is, uh, let's see, it's 9 now, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 5 hours from now. So if you are awake at that time, there's all that. Um, I appreciate your watching. Thanks for the follows, the views, uh, any of the DDO stream stream team and uh, me personally thanks good night and uh, if you feel like rating gemini 166 to see more ddo action feel free to do that i have no clever phrase tonight and uh so yeah have fun um archive this up should be up pretty quick on twitch and it will be up as soon as it uploads on my YouTube. Night all, thanks. See you next week, if not before.